a news alert. And they used our children's pictures, our dead children, or at least in my case, child's picture, to do that. Aurora Theater shooting victims presenting a united front, saying they aren't getting the five million that so many people donated to help them out. Seven News reporter Jacqueline Allen has been asking tough questions. The new call for help. This is awful. From those most hurt by the theater shooting. We have to stand up and fight for the money. Doesn't sit well with some who donated their hard-earned dollars. If the money is supposed to belong to help the victims, give it to the victims. Aurora business owner Mickey Vendiker has been organizing fundraisers, but says after this, he'll send money directly to those affected. Don't lollygag and keep it in loopholes and red tape for months to even years. Community First admits there have been obstacles, in part because of the criminal investigation. Some of the communication with the gag order has not flowed as freely as it might in another situation. Will this money make its way to victims? Absolutely. Absolutely. Rich Osley, a special advisor for the fund, says people who donated do want oversight. It's definitely going to go to where it needs to go with the victims. So it will directly go to the victims? Yes, ma'am. So the focus right now is meeting immediate needs, $350,000 given out so far, then forming a thoughtful long-term plan for which he says the committee will listen to victims. But it's not up to them. It has to be up to a broader community process, okay. which, in, which includes them, but it has to be a broader community process. The he went on to tell Jacqueline that as far as the money given already to nonprofits, donors specifically designated it for that purpose, but they are meeting with victims on Friday to try and work that out. Governor John Hickenlooper weighing in on the family's frustration, saying he certainly understands. He says he went on to say, that's why we have been advocating for them to have a greater voice in the process. We have also actively supported the 720 Recovery Committee to improve communication and the ongoing distribution of assistance.